What's the logical fallacy where people dismiss what you say as irrelevant to the real world? Quite often I see derision about ideas by people who label them as too academic. Often this appears to result from laziness or an unwillingness to stretch their thinking. What's the logical fallacy where people dismiss what you say as irrelevant to the real world? At its most general this is a fallacy of relevance. Precisely which one would depend on how it's presented. If your interlocutor were to say you're one of them academic types, so you must be spouting nonsense it would be ad hominem. If they said something more like sounds like that academic talk, we all know how trustworthy that is, it would be more properly categorized as an appeal to emotion, which emotion exactly would depend on the tone. However, in order to have committed a logical fallacy they must first have been attempting to make a logical argument, i.e. they must have intended their utterance to convince someone that your argument should be discarded. They may just be arguing in bad faith. Alternatively they are attempting to undermine the epistemic grounding of your claim by calling into question the absolute validity, or at least applicability, of Western, philosophical logic slash scientific and academic reasoning, which wouldn't be a fallacy at all but a potentially valid tactic. Argumentum ad lapidem, appealing to the stone. Discarding the argument as absurd without giving logical reasons. Following Cerberus's suggestion above, I checked the Wikipedia list of fallacies, and found a couple that bear on the case at hand. One is the appeal to poverty or argumentum ad lazarum. Supporting a conclusion because the arguer is poor, or refuting it because the arguer is wealthy. Though this red herring fallacy focuses narrowly on the financial status of the arguer, it could be applied metaphorically to intellectual wealth, too. Understood in terms of scholarship, the appeal to poverty says, I am not clever and learned like my opponent, so I can be trusted to speak plainly and honestly, free of the incrustations of pretension, sophistry, and ivory tower bias that inevitably accompany academic learning. A second possibly relevant fallacy is inflation of conflict. The experts of a field of knowledge disagree on a certain point, so the scholars must know nothing, and therefore the legitimacy of their entire field is put to question. This fallacy, I've noticed, is especially popular in anti-evolution rhetoric, where disagreements about specific narrow evolutionary details serve as a basis for claiming the existence of bitter division among evolutionists over the general principles of the science. In effect, the broadly interpreted, appeal to poverty says you can't trust an educated person, and the inflation of conflict says those academic types don't really know anything anyway. Jumping to conclusions would also encompass such a fallacy. Figure to judge or decide something without having all the facts to reach unwarranted conclusions. Argument by laziness is self-explanatory and listed as an informal fallacy. It is alternatively referred to as argument by uninformed opinion. Figure the arguer is not informed on the topic but has an opinion nevertheless. I recognize I'm a late comer here, but wanted to include this thought. I'm not sure there is any fallacy at work here. This is best illustrated by example. An old physics joke asks, what is the best way to load chickens on a truck? To which, after considerable work, the physicist answers, first, assume a spherical chicken in a vacuum. That would be a classic example of an academic answer which works on paper and in academic discussion, but fails in reality because chickens are not spherical, and chickens do not live in a vacuum. Essentially this argument is a statement that textbook solutions are often idealized and do not include many real-world factors that stray from the ideal.